Aziz Sanjar born the 8th of September 1946 is a Turkish American biochemist and molecular biologist specializing in DNA repair, cell cycle checkpoints and circadian clock. In 2015, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry along with Tomas Lindahl and Paul L. Modric for their mechanistic studies of DNA repair. He has made contributions on photolyase and nucleotide excision repair in bacteria that have changed his field. Sanjar is currently the Sarah Graham Keenan Professor of Biochemistry and Biophysics at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine and a member of the UNC Lineberger Comprehensive Cancer Center. He is the co-founder of the Aziz and Gwen Sanjar Foundation, which is a non-profit organization to promote Turkish culture and to support Turkish students in the United States. Early life Aziz Sanjar was born into a lower middle class family, where he spoke Arabic with his parents and Turkish with his siblings, in the Sever district of Mardin Province, southeastern Turkey on September 8, 1946. His oldest brother, Kenan Sanjar is a retired brigadier general of the Turkish Armed Forces. He is the cousin of HDP Mardin deputy Mithat Sanjar. He was the seventh of eight children, his parents were illiterate, however, they put great emphasis on education. He was educated by idealistic teachers who received their education in the village institutes. He later stated that this was a great inspiration to him. Throughout his school life, Sanjar had great academic success that was noted by his teachers. He wanted to study chemistry whilst at high school, but was persuaded to study medicine after five of his classmates also got into medicine along with him. As such, he studied medicine at the Faculty of Medicine of Istanbul University. In an interview, Sanjar stated that in his youth, he was nationalist but he didn't participate in activities. Topic education Sanjar received his primary education near his hometown of Sever. He then completed his MD degree in Istanbul University of Turkey and completed his PhD degree on the photoreactivating enzyme of E. coli in 1977 at the University of Texas at Dallas in the laboratory of Claude Stan Rupert, now Professor Emeritus. Topic career Aziz Sanjar is honorary member of the Turkish Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. After graduating from Istanbul University, Sanjar returned to Sever. Although he wanted to go to the United States, he was recommended to try out being a doctor and he worked as a doctor in the region for 1.5 years. He then won a scholarship from Tubedic to pursue further education in biochemistry at Johns Hopkins University, but returned to Sever in 1973 as a doctor after spending 1.5 years there due to having social difficulties and inability to adapt to the American way of life. He only spoke French when he arrived in the U.S. but learned English during his education at Johns Hopkins. Soon after, he wrote to Rupert, who had been involved in the discovery of DNA repair and was at Johns Hopkins during Sanjar's time there but had since moved to the University of Texas at Dallas. He was accepted and completed his Ph.D. in molecular biology there. His interest had been stimulated by the recovery of bacteria, which had been exposed to deadly amounts of ultraviolet radiation, upon their illumination with blue light. In 1976, as part of his doctoral dissertation, he managed to replicate the gene for photolyase, an enzyme that repairs thymine dimers that result from ultraviolet damage. After completing his PhD, Sanjar had three rejected applications for postdoctoral positions and then took up work at Yale University as a laboratory technician. He worked at Yale for five years. Here, he started his field changing work on nucleotide excision repair, another DNA mechanism that works in the dark. He elucidated the molecular details of this process, identifying UVRABC endonuclease and the genes that code for it, and furthermore discovering that these enzymes cut twice on the damaged strand of DNA, removing 12 to 13 nucleotides that include the damaged part. Following his mechanistic elucidations of nucleotide exchange repair, he was accepted as a lecturer at the University of North Carolina, the only university that he got a positive response from out of the 50 he applied to. He has stated that his accent of English was detrimental to his career as a lecturer. At Chapel Hill, Sanjar discovered the following steps of nucleotide excision repair in bacteria and worked on the more complex version of this repair mechanism in humans. His longest running study has involved photolyase and the mechanisms of photo reactivation. In his inaugural article in the PNAS, Sanjar captured the photolyase radicals he has chased for nearly 20 years, thus providing direct observation of the photocycle for thymine dimer repair. Aziz Sanjar was elected to the National Academy of Sciences in 2005 as the first Turkish-American member. 
He is the Sarah Graham Keenan Professor of Biochemistry, at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He is married to Gwen Bol Sanjar, who graduated the same year and who is also a professor of biochemistry and biophysics at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Together, they founded Carolina Turk EV, a permanent Turkish center in close proximity to the campus of UNCCH, which provides graduate housing for four Turkish researchers at UNCCH, short term guest services for Turkish visiting scholars, and a center for promoting Turkish American interchange. Research on circadian clock Sanjar and his research team have discovered that two genes, period and cryptochrome, keep the circadian clocks of all human cells in proper rhythm, syncing them to the 24 hours of the day and seasons. Their findings were published in the Genes and Development Journal in September 16, 2014. Sanjar's research has provided a complete understanding of the workings of circadian clocks in humans, which may be used to treat a wide range of different illnesses and disorders such as jet lag and seasonal affective disorder, and may be useful in controlling and optimizing various cancer treatments. Personal life Sanjar is married to Gwen Bol Sanjar, with whom he met during his PhD in Dallas, where she was also studying molecular biology. They got married in 1978. In the immediate aftermath of being awarded the Nobel Prize, his ethnicity was questioned in social media. Sanjar said he was disturbed by some of the questions he received, particularly by questions about his ethnic background. When asked as to whether he is a Turk or half Arab, by the BBC, Aziz Sanjar responded, "'I told them that I neither speak Arabic nor Kurdish and that I was a Turk.' He said, "'I'm a Turk, that's it.'" Aziz Sanjar's brother Tahir informed in an interview that their family descended from Oghuz Turks who once migrated from Central Asia. He also said that his brother's Nobel Prize was an honour for all of Turkey, including the Kurds. Awards. <laughs> <laughs> He was awarded the 2015 Nobel Prize in Chemistry along with Tomas Lindahl and Paul L. Modric for their mechanistic studies of DNA repair. He was granted Presidential Young Investigator Award from the National Science Foundation in Molecular Biophysics in 1984. Sanjar is the second Turkish Nobel laureate after Orhan Pamuk, who is also an alumnus of Istanbul University. Aziz Sanjar donated his original Nobel Prize Golden Medal and Certificate to the Mausoleum of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, with a presidential ceremony on 19 May 2016, which is the 97th anniversary of Atatürk initiating the Turkish War of Independence. He delivered a replica of his Nobel Medal and Certificate to Istanbul University, from which he earned his M.D. Topic references Topic External links Official website of the Aziz and Gwen Sanjar Foundation